Hi, I'm Rand and I own Mojo Vinyl Records in Roswell, Georgia. Mojo Vinyl has been a business for nine years. We love our customers to experience vinyl like it was in, in the 70s. It's analog music, but we have new artists as well. The way people found out about music in the 90s was that was when the internet was starting and they did it, found it online. And that became the new way to listen to music was online. I've always loved music from when I was a kid, from the time I bought my first record. So um, I just think that's something that's about, that people have their own individual style to. Well, there was a couple reasons why I opened up Mojo Vinyl. Um, one was I wanted an another business to do. I was looking and I wanted a little small retail store to do. And this was in uh, 2010 and records were just starting to start up. Um, so I opened in 2011 off of Webb Street. And as they say, the rest is history, other than I'm in my fourth location. A record store is very dramatic in the community, in fact, because we buy records from people that are wanting to get rid of them, and then we sell them to other people in the community. So we actually are sort of recycling things because people from Roswell in the Atlanta area sell us the records, and then we sell them to people in Roswell in the Atlanta area. To me, it's, we're helping on both sides. A typical day at the record store is playing music all day and talking to people about music and selling them records. And then, as I said, we buy records from people. So people will bring me collections and I have to go through them and give them an analysis and come up with a price for them to pay them. Then they have to be cleaned and priced and put back out so people can buy them. My favorite experience that I have at Mojo is kids buying records and high school kids, college kids. And I love it when they bring mom and dad because they want mom and dad's opinion on which Beatles record they should buy. And that's like a beautiful thing because I know mom and dad are like going, they're asking me for their musical opinion and I, they don't ever ask me anything. But it's really fun and I think that's my favorite part. I think it's important for younger kids to buy records at record stores because it's a social experience. You get to go do things, you get to go and see things, not just stare at your computer screen through a browser or an or a, um, icon and actually touch and hold it and listen to it. What's happened over the years is a group of people come here consistently and have gotten to know each other and uh, we have a thing on Friday nights that's gone for a long time where we all meet up and have kind of a happy hour and listen to music and talk music and share stories and laugh a lot and everything like that. So. One of the most fun things I, I do around here is not just shop for records, but also you know hang out with, with, good, with people who have become good friends of mine. A trend I've noticed during the pandemic, because everyone had to stay home, and records are a great thing to listen to and do at home. So my business has been very good during that, um, which is, was really surprising to me. But I think it's because people want, they're at home and they want something to do, and listening to records is a great thing to do. I think uh, Mojo and music in general connects to people mostly because it's it's you know it inspires you it's like you know there's people that like country music there's people that like rap and hip-hop there's people that like heavy metal music you know and it's like it's what connects with you and you know especially in the times like now you know it, it's really important to have an outlet you know of something that that really speaks to your heart you know while the world feels crazy um music is important like i can relate to a lot of lyrics and stuff and i listen to music a lot like it like gets me like through a lot of things just like listening to music and like zoning out everything else. I just love music. I mean, who doesn't love music? And I think records are the best way to listen to music. For the future, I just want to sell more records. I, I, um, I'm going to look at a collection on Monday that's 20,000 records. It's going to be totally mind-blowing. Oh, I think the future of music is strong. Um, I think records are strong. Um, I don't think it's... They sort of went out of fashion for a phase in the 90s, but I don't think we're going to see that again. The, they might go down in popularity, but I think they'll still be there. 